HHO for all here back with another video um, this one is going to be I'm just going to do a real quick tutorial on how to build my revised single cup fuel cell um, I've actually made a, uh, a few improvements to it and now technically it's a two cup fuel cell um, but anyway the basic components you need you need a two and a half ounce stainless cup a one and a half ounce stainless cup uh, you can buy these on eBay a one and a quarter inch stainless steel washer uh, you'll probably need a couple of them uh, nylon washers these come in real handy for in between each one of these stainless washers a two inch nylon bolt and you will also need a um, nylon nut you can buy those on eBay also and this is a um, shower pan liner that I ended up cutting to size so that uh, it fits like so around the cup and then you just simply push it down into place and it creates a seal so that way you've got a completely sealed chamber in between both cups and you will have to drill a few holes in the cups um, this is what the one and a half ounce cup looks like you'll have to drill a quarter inch hole through the very top of it and the black that you see along the bottom here is plasti dip um, it's a rubberizing seal that you can use to uh, dip tools into to re-rubberize the handles um, I decided I was just going to dip this in there instead of using this uh, shower pan liner seal because the shower pan liner seal even though it does work great is a pain in the ass to do and I hate cutting out gaskets because gaskets suck so anyway you just dip that and about four hours later you've got yourself a seal on your cup so as long as you're doing a couple of them at the same time then you should be alright so anyway um, the two and a half ounce cup this looks like some kind of uh, laser gun or something it's uh, pretty crazy looking but you will actually drill a quarter inch hole through the top directly through the center and then you will also drill a um, I believe it is a 3 8 inch hole in three different places um, right here right here and up front you want it as high on the cup as possible so that you can mount in your hose barbs um, these right here are um, 3 8 inch um, where it goes into the hole and they're quarter inch hose barbs and then here on the front um, get it up against the black so you can see it a little better um, this is a uh, this is also another um, quarter inch connection I took a piece of tubing and jam packed it down in here into the connector and then I used a check valve and push that into the hose itself so that I had a good secure connection this is going to be for the water refill and so uh, these are going to be dual exhaust and this will be the water refill and when you assemble this the way it's going to work is you put a washer down so that the next stainless washer doesn't actually touch the cup and you keep doing the process you just go through put another nylon washer another stainless and you just keep doing that until you've got I think I think it's like seven or eight so you've got yourself a pretty good stack going on here um, you want to push it as much as possible so that um, when it comes time to actually slide this down over the top of it it's gonna 
go all the way up to the top so that way it doesn't shake around on the inside there and when it's all done there you go that's going to be the fuel cell and when you tighten it up when you get a pressure fit it will actually create a seal in between both cups because of the plastic dip that you put around the edge so anyway that's the new design um, you know uh, looking at it <laughs> I'm realizing that the uh, the bolt should probably be coming down from the top cup going down through the bottom um, just so that way I don't have this stupid bolt sticking out of the top but um, for doing the video it was just the easiest way to do it and uh, when it's all said and done um, I'm thinking about mounting it on top of this heat sink that I pulled out of an old PC um, just in case there's any heating issues you know just to keep the heat down so anyway this is uh, my new design idea I haven't tested it out yet but I'm hoping that I get better output than the other single cup cell that I had so that's it HHO for all I'm out of here